Like all YouTube experts who make how-to videos, I should have a disclaimer before this one. There's probably about as many ways to sharpen as there are types of knives, or maybe not really. Not every knife should be sharpened the same. Some are harder to sharpen than others for various reasons, including steel hardness, grinds, and maybe you're just a big disappointment to your parents. This video is not the only way or the best way to sharpen. It's just the best way for me. Always research the type of grind and the best way to sharpen before you attempt anything you ever see on this channel because I suck and I'm not an expert. Now that I made half a video of disclaimers, let me show you my rod sharpening system and how it works for me. First, you need a few other tools other than yourself. You need a Sharpie, some shit knives to test on, the Triangle Sharp Maker, and I would like to recommend some more abrasive stones than the Sharp Maker comes with for more problem blades. The standard Spyderco Sharp Maker comes with two sets of rods, the ceramic and the medium grit. These two sets of stones are good for touching up or maintaining a lot of modern pocket knives. I had no problem sharpening my Endura 4, my Benchmade 551, or my dozen cheap Gonzo blades easily. And before you attempt any method here, watch the DVD that comes with the Sharp Maker and try it on one of your pocket knives that's not terribly beat up or dull or expensive. As detailed in the Spydergo DVD, you hold your knife perfectly level and move downwards to maintain a perfect angle as you move uh, downward. You are recommended to do 20 sets of each of the following, starting with the medium stones on the edge with 20 repetitions to reprofile and take off the most metal. Then move to the medium grit flat side, 20 repetitions, then do the ceramic edge 20 times per side, then the ceramic flat side 20 times per side. Now ideally, you should do this somewhat regularly to maintain your edge, even when the knife isn't as dull as a sharpening video. Or when you're drunk. It's always best to play with knives when you're incredibly drunk. That's a pro tip. Okay, so at this point you're either like, that worked great, or you're calling yourself a fucking idiot loser because your knife isn't sharp and the dumbass video must have been lying. Because that's how I felt. If you're in the second category, like I was on some knives, the problem you have is you weren't sharpening the cutting edge. Eventually you would have, but that could take an hour or 30 years. Now there are two main pocket knife sharpening angles the sharp maker is capable of. There are other systems out there with more angles, but you get two here. The 30 degree, which is for the back bevels. Again, watch the real video to understand what that means. But the one you'll use least is probably the 30 degree. And then there's the 40 degree setting, which is the main one I use to get my edge. So I mostly use that. The real key to your sharp maker is not moving on from the medium grit stones on the angle side until your knife is already sharp. If it's not sharp there, it's gonna take forever to do it on the ceramic stones. The ceramic stones just fine tune and polish the edge. Okay, so maybe you've done like a thousand passes on the gray edge and it's still kind of, you know, not that sharp. Well, that's because you're not hitting the edge. Remember I said that earlier? How do you know what to do? And what do you do when the gray stones just aren't cutting it or sharpening it? You can't cut, right? To sharpen more stubborn knives, you'll need a Sharpie and the more abrasive stones I recommended earlier. I recommend a pair of Spyderco's Diamond Triangle Stones, but they'll set you back almost 50 bucks. I have those, but I also have a Harbor Freight $12 four-sided diamond sharpener plate piece of crap thing. Okay, so first the gray stones aren't getting your edge sharp after a lot of passes. Whip out your Sharpie, and before I forget, try and keep your stones clean that came with your Sharp Maker. Remember, wash your stones often. With water, of course. So I'll use this old knife I got at a thrift store. I like to put a few marks down the side of the edge in different places. You don't have to do this much, but I had a knife once that was hitting pretty far up the side because of an uneven grind. But usually if you do an area near the edge and just up the blade, you're good. You can trace the full edge too. I, I, whatever, you, you get the point. The whole idea is here to see where it is on the edge you're sharpening. If you're making any progress and what you need to do differently, like using more aggressive stones. If it's slow moving, and sometimes, and I will not recommend this without you researching it a little further, you can hold your knife at a slightly different angle. The only problem is you have to maintain that consistency of the way your hand is held. Anyway, so put in your diamond stones on the edge. It's very important not to apply too much pressure on the stones, just many light repetitions hitting both sides. The diamond stones will wear out with too much pressure. Check your Sharpie edge every 20 or 30 repetitions to see if you're making progress. Is the Sharpie coming off at the very edge of your knife? 
Is it slowly moving toward the edge? That means you're making progress. If it is or it's getting close, keep on going until you start seeing the black from the edge worn away. If it gets good and sharp, then it's a good idea to basically go to the gray stones and then start the whole process and continue like the DVD says. And you should be good. If this didn't work, there is my uh, advanced uh, method where you get a little more aggressive. This will reprofile the edge much faster, but I hesitate to do this on a very expensive blade because you'll scuff the shit out of it if you're not careful. Anyway, I pull out my Harbor Freight Special. The rod will help maintain the 40 degree angle on whatever other abrasive surface you put there. So hold it straight up and down, and I can hit this one harder than I can with the more expensive Spyderco Diamond Stones. And even get a little crazy doing some reprofiling. The idea is to make a nice, clean, new, even edge on both sides. I'll do one side for a bit, and when I start to get a burr or the metal starts to fold over to the other side, I'll switch. Okay, once you have a nice edge that's sharp, I'd clean it up a little further with the Spider Code Diamond Edges doing 20 or so repetitions, move to the gray, and then of course the ceramics eventually. If it's not, go back to the diamond rods for a bit, or you can try the 30 degree back bevel, which will take off some metal from a different area. Um, again, watch the DVD for how to do that. The whole idea of what's happening here is you're doing a complete edge reprofiling to make your knife match the angle of the sharp maker's stones, so next time you sharpen, it won't take that long. If you don't feel comfortable doing these, and a lot of knife manufacturers have sharpening programs, Send it to them or watch some other videos on YouTube. Again, watch other YouTube videos, look for other methods, and try it out on a cheap knife before you do this last section. Also, you can substitute for the Harbor Freight thing a, another sharpening stone or some sandpaper, whatever. Just something so you can set an edge with the sharp maker on a more aggressive surface. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful and not too rambly. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like my video. And go play with your knife.